Hi, this is my first video from Vietnamese series. Ha Giang is the name of a province in North Vietnam as well as its capital. It is known for its motorbike loop through the canyons and the scenic mountain passes. Pierre convinced me to go there, rent a motorbike despite lack of relevant experience and risk it. To go there, I took a bus from Sapa. It was my first ride in a bus with flying places. Comfy, even though it seems like the seats were designed for smaller people. Due to the hilly terrain and poor state of the road, the bus ride of 130 kilometers took over 6 hours. At the check-in in the recommended hostel, I booked my scooter for 4 days starting the following day. I was given a map of the loop and the receptionist explained to me how to go, what to do in case of an emergency, and recommended me the accommodation. Later, I was given a 5-minute driving lesson behind the hostel since it was my first time riding a semi-automatic motorbike. Then, a short walk in the city, dinner and sleep. Next day, I claimed free breakfast and explored the city before I was presented my gear for the next 4 days. There was fixed departure for all the people from the hostel because we were supposed to be guided out of the city on the side roads by a person from the hostel to avoid police patrol, since none of the tourists had a valid driving license. When we left the city, we were on our own. I was following the instructions, taking occasional stops to contemplate the views and take a picture. I stopped in Quan Ba for a lunch. I took a side road to go to Lung Kui Cave. I parked my bike in the nearby village and continued to climb the hill on the foot. I was lucky that when I arrived there was no one inside, so I could experience it even better. Later I continued my drill, riding contemplating and taking occasional pictures. At some point my road was mysteriously blocked for around half an hour. As I could already go, it was beginning to get darker. I had to look for my homestay in Yen Min already after dusk. When I arrived, I was introduced to my room and I signed up for a family dinner. There was a lot of food and the host was making sure that there is always enough on the table and that everybody is full. In the morning, I claimed the breakfast and free bottle of water and I hit the road, welcomed by a much nicer weather than the previous day. And I followed my drill, riding, contemplating and taking pictures. I deviated a little bit to visit the villages. Saw the moon surface and went to the king's palace in another village. Later, the drill, riding, contemplation and pictures. As I had a lot of time, I took the path to the northernmost point of Vietnam, where I climbed the flag tower. For lunch, I have chosen a restaurant with an interesting choice of drinks. Later, I rode straight to the next town where I booked a hostel. It was still quite early, so I took a stroll around the town and I googled a hill to climb nearby, where I decided to stay for a sunset. As I went down, I had a dinner and then I went to sleep. In the morning, I walked a bit more around the town and had breakfast before hitting the road, where I continued my routine. I reached a point called the Skywalk, which was an optional path for a motorbike. At the beginning it seemed fine, but later it got a bit scarier. That was the beginning of the Mappy Link Pass. For me, the most beautiful part of the loop. After I left the challenging descent, 
from the skywalk, I continued my cruise. The views remained amazing throughout the whole day. When I arrived at Duja, I went straight to the recommended waterfall, where I took a nice swim. In my homestay, I had a family dinner again and also karaoke afterwards. The bed was comfy and breakfast was free. My last day of riding on Hajanglu, I started by randomly finding a local market. Later on the road the views were still amazing, but with time the state of the road got much worse. I arrived back at my hostel in Hajang, where the host recommended some more surroundings of, ha of the Hajang city, so I didn't return my motorbike yet. My further discoveries began by driving to Hajang waterfall in the countryside, and then I went to the hill with a second shrine and a cool view of Hajang city. Back at the hostel I had a nice family dinner and waited a bit for a night bus to Halong Bay. The views throughout the whole loop were amazing. I loved the experience of tackling it all by myself on the motorbike. I fell maximum two times. Even though I was riding by myself, all the time on the way, I crossed my path with friends from my hostel in Hajang. Next episode, Katba Island. <laughs>